The new Rafale F5, often dubbed the Super Rafale, is the next evolution of already impressive Rafale fighter jet. It is currently under development and aims to enter service around 2030. The F5 will pack more powerful engines, potentially an evolved M88 variant, pushing beyond the current 75-knot thrust, improving performance in hot and high conditions, and boosting payload capacity. It'll carry the ASN-4G, a nuclear-armed hypersonic missile from MBDA. Survivability is boosted with upgraded sensors, think enhanced RBE-2 radar, and electronic warfare suite, plus better data links for networked warfare. The airframe might see tweaks for reduced radar cross-section, though it won't match the stealth of the F-35. A stealthy unmanned combat aerial vehicle as a loyal wingman. Building on the Neuron Demonstrator, this drone will weigh over 10 tons, double the Neuron size, carry weapons, and extend the Rafale's reach into contested airspace. France is betting big on this. The F-5's development kicked off under the 2024 to 2030 military programming law, with Dassault aiming to keep the Rafale relevant until at least 2060. Compared to the F-35, the new Rafale F-5 is less about raw stealth and more about versatility, connectivity, and drone edge. Think of it as a combat system, not just a jet, it's not in service yet, so real-world performance is to be determined. But on paper, it's a bold counterpunch to U.S. dominance. Recent reports confirm that the Rafale F-5 will be armed with hypersonic missiles, specifically the ASN-4G, a nuclear-armed hypersonic missile being developed by MBDA. The ASN-4G is slated to hit speeds between Mach 6 to 7, over 4,600 to 5,300 miles per hour, thanks to a scramjet engine, and it's expected to have a range exceeding 1,000 kilometers. That's a huge leap from the current ASMPA missile, which tops out at Mach 3 in around 500 kilometers. Hypersonic speed makes it a nightmare for air defenses. Most systems, even advanced ones like the S-400, add stealth features and a nuclear warhead. You have a weapon that can punch through defenses and hit hard, fast, and far away. For comparison, the F-35 standoff weapons, like the JASSM, max out at subsonic speeds in around 370 to 1,000 kilometers range, depending on the variant with no hypersonic option in sight. The ASN-4G gives the F-5 a strategic edge for deep strikes. Paired with the F-5 upgraded sensors, enhanced RBE-2 radar, and electronic warfare suite, it's a serious threat in both conventional and nuclear roles. The Loyal Wingman drone, a stealthy over 10 tons, adds another layer, extending its reach and carrying extra weapons. It's less about raw firepower and more about delivering precise, unstoppable punches where it hurts most. So, the Rafale F-5 with hypersonic missiles is a hell of a lot deadlier, especially for strategic missions, and it's a tough nut to crack. The Rafale F-5 and the F-15EX are advanced multi-role fighter jets representing the latest evolutions of the French Dassault Rafale and the American Boeing F-15 Eagle, respectively.
Both are classified as 4.5 generation fighters, blending advanced avionics, improved performance, and some stealth features without reaching the full stealth capabilities of fifth generation jets like the F-35 or F-22. While they share the ability to perform air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, their design philosophies and strengths differ, catering to distinct operational needs. F-15 EX excels in speed, range, and firepower, making it ideal for air superiority, long-range strikes, or scenarios requiring massive payloads. Rafale F-5 shines in agility, electronic warfare, and advanced weaponry, suiting it for contested environments where stealth and maneuverability are key. In a head-to-head -head scenario, the outcome depends on the engagement type. Beyond visual range, the F-15EX radar and missile capacity could dominate, though the Rafale's Meteor and Spectra system level the playing field. Dogfight. The Rafale's agility might give it an edge. Ultimately, neither aircraft is definitively superior. Their effectiveness hinges on mission requirements, pilot skill, and tactical execution.